Today's the appointment. Today is the follow up to the genetic testing. I'm supposed to go today, and basically, I need a freaking name for my freaking diagnosis. For me specifically, unspecified won't satisfy me. Because unspecified connective tissue issue won't satisfy me because I look it up. A lot of these people have issues like joint pain and stuff like that. My issues is more of a visible f thing. Like, I'm off an habitus. So, I, if I get labeled with undifferentiated connective tissue disease, I'm not, I'm not having that. Because I look that up and I don't see anything about morphinoid habitus. I don't see anyone else that has undifferentiated connective tissue disease. None of them have morphinoid habitus. Nothing online mentions morphinoid habitus, and it's pissing me the frick off. I was thinking that it could be... It can't be any disorder that affects your fibulin 1 gene is also ruled out, because... Um, since I don't have a mutation in fibulin 1 for Marfan syndrome... That means all related disorders that cause a fibulin 1 gene mutation, those are also ruled out, right? I would think so, because, yeah, that makes sense, because... There's a freaking dog over there. That makes sense because there's nothing wrong with that gene. So all disorders that, that affect that gene is ruled out. At least that's what I would think. Unless there's different, unless unless a gene is like an onion, there's different layers of it. <laughs> I know that sounds stupid, but maybe 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 my fibulin one gene is mutated, but in another layer of it. I don't know. I'm just thinking weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking weird, but I don't know. But yeah, so that's all out of the that's all out of the question. So I have no freaking idea. There needs to be a name for it. I need a name. I'll, you know, I'll, 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 you know, I'll, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll, you know, uh, this is a fake name. This person does not exist, so don't, this is just a fake name. But say there's a doctor named Dr. Winkleton, right? If he, ex if, if Dr. Winkleton ex examines me, uh, Name it Winkleton Syndrome or something because uh, there needs to be a freaking name for it and I don't want to be an enigma. I, I don't want to be the only one. I'm tired of feeling like an alien slender man hybrid theory person and I don't want to... I There needs to be a name. I, I If I don't... I'm going to keep making posts. I'm going to keep making posts. I'm going to keep... I'm gonna keep going back to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to. Um, I'll. I'll go to. I'll. I'll travel as far as I can. To get an answer, I'll contact a universal scientist if I have to. <laughs> like I'm being serious. Like I'll get Rick and Morty up in this shit. Cause uh, there needs to be a name. If there is no name, then we will create one. Whoever examines me will name it after whatever the heck their name is. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just all, like, I'm, I'm not going to do this. 
like no I'm gonna do it like I'm gonna go to 50 different doctors and try to figure out what the hell it is I'm gonna keep doing that but at the same time I don't want to do it and I don't want to keep making Twitter posts reddit posts I don't want to keep making YouTube videos about complaining about it I was so freaking desperate I went into freaking creepy pastas live chat trying to get people's attention saying hey I look like slender man anybody want to check out my channel and no one they didn't care like I don't want attention for attention but I freaking uh I need help you know how with someone with a mental issue they need help with me it's not a mental issue like I don't want freaking pill people the, the pill people, you know, coming at me. I don't mean it like that. I mean, like, I need a scientist. I'm, I want a scientist to contact me, knock on my door, do something. So no one's freaking interested because it looks like fan syndrome. I think that's why. People say stuff like, there's nothing special about you. Just because you have the Mofenoid habitus, a lot of people have the Mofenoid habitus. No, they don't. You know what I mean? It pisses me off. I need a name for it. I'm going to keep suffering like the physical issues is causing mental issues. I'm going to keep suffering. I'm going to keep ranting and raving on Twitter. I'm going to probably rant and rave more on Twitter. I don't want to make multiple YouTube videos about it. But yeah, I don't want to make... I don't want to make multiple YouTube videos about it. I'll make multiple posts about it. I'll keep complaining. Until I become Marina Joyce... Until I get big and people notice me, Senpai, until I get big for something, then that's it. And again, I don't want attention for attention. I want attention so, like, I want to use the internet fame to contact, because I'm going to have to call, contact National Organization for Rare Diseases or some shit, because I'm tired of this, people. I want Rick from Rick and Morty to contact me. I want someone to be interested. No one's interested in this. And I'm going to get a carrier type, hopefully. I'm going to recommend it to my doctor. And I'm going to hopefully get it. And if nothing pops up, then there's something really wrong with my body or science or both. Because we need to figure out this crap. I am sick of this. I'll go to great lengths to get more attention if I have to. I'll keep making songs. I'll stand outside with a freaking poster. I'll do anything. Like, I'm getting so freaking desperate at this point. I'll dress up in a chicken suit and holding up a sign saying... No, I'll dress up as Slender Man or something in public. Probably. Maybe I won't. But, you know, I'll do. So I'll hold up a sign saying I need medical help and I want someone to listen to me. And I'm crying and I'm screaming and no one's listening to me. Just like with the mental health people... Because that's when I had mental health issues, I did the same exact thing. It's the th it's the same thing with my mental health. When I had mental health issues, I was screaming and crying, literally and metaphorically, and no one cared. And it's the same thing with my physical issues. I'm screaming and crying, literally and metaphorically, and no one's listening. And I want someone to listen, and no one gives a fuck. They want to pay attention to a dude throwing an orange at a wall, and he gets millions of views, but no one cares about my medical mystery. Oh, because it looks like something that already exists, even though it's already ruled out, a.k.a. Morphan Syndrome. And I'm just so sick of this. I hope I get a carrier type, and I hope they find a mutation. And I hope there's a name for it. And if there is no name for it, we're going to come up with one. I will be the first. Name it after me if you have to. I don't know. This is Nasty Mind Train, and I'll see you all later.
I'm not making this up. Um, <coughs> so, um, hopefully you can hear me over the freaking noise over there. I don't know where that noise is coming from, so. But yeah, anyways. I'm gonna have to record either somewhere else, or I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it. I think you guys can hear me okay. Um, I'm not lying when I say this, but um, when I saw my doctor, she said that I could possibly have a new gene mutation, like an, uh, a mutation in a gene that's never been mutated before. So. And she also theorized that could also mean that it's a new condition or a new subtype or something. So I don't know how you guys, I know a lot of people, I don't know if you guys uh, believe me, but I mean, uh, there was a guy on Reddit that said he had a mutation, I don't know what the gene was called, but it was like the fox gene or something, like something with an F. But yeah, there was this guy on Reddit, and he had a he had a new uh, he had a new gene mutation that's never been seen before. I didn't expect that, but because uh, I was posting about my mom fan medical mystery, and someone replied saying that they had a new mutation, so it's possible that I could have a new one. Uh. So yeah, and I I held it with my own ears, and I'm shocked that she agrees. I mean, maybe it's nothing new. Maybe it's not anything new. Maybe it's just something really rare, and I'm missing it. Like, maybe I do have kyphoscoliosis, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. I, I It's probably unlikely. I probably have my own version of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome or something, but I don't know. So that's just an update. I wanted to make the update on the day of my appointment, but I didn't have time to. And there was some other stuff that happened afterwards that I needed to take a break from the internet kind of a little bit. So, yeah. So it's either a new condition or a new subtype of an existing condition or it's something. I want to get a carrier type, hopefully, and figure this out. Hey, so I think the doctors really care about me because I'm recording this on the 3rd of November, and on the 5th, I'm going to see my heart doctor. And I, I'm pretty sure two days after that, I'm going to get my echocardiogram, I don't know, this, the echocardiogram, call, um, have it written down on the calendar, so, it's, it's really, the echocardiogram, uh, request that they want me to do was just recent, so I don't, rem I don't, I have it written down on the calendar, but I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure that's on the 7th, or something like that. I know the heart doctor's on the 5th because that was planned for a really, really long time and I, I'm, I'm, I'm able to memorize that. But yeah, I'm just gonna, I don't know, I'm gonna walk around the block. But yeah, I think, I think these, even though I don't have Morphan syndrome, I think the doctors are still worried about me. Because I have the signs. Which is pretty freaking crazy. I would have expected the doctors to become like the haters. Because the haters, ever since I got a negative gene test for Morphan Syndrome, ever since then, the haters been saying stuff like, So it is an eating problem when it's not. Yet the doctors are the opposite. The doctors are still concerned that it might be something related to it. Which, that's good. Honestly, I don't need these haters. All I need is these doctors on my side. And, yeah. So, I have a feeling like my aorta probably enlarged a little bit, maybe. I don't 
no, probably in reality not. Even though I have been lifting stuff and that can increase it. I don't know. Like, part of me feels like it's going to be okay like the last time, but a part of me feels like it's going to be enlarged because I was lifting here and there a lot this year because I was mad and I was trying to change my body even though my body can never change. So maybe it, maybe it probably enlarged a little bit. Like, say if it was 3.5 centimeters, it's probably like 3.9 or 4 centimeters by now. That's just my guess. Maybe it didn't change, but I don't know. I don't know what the hot doctor is going to do on the 5th. But the echocardiogram is, well, that's pretty self-explanatory, you know what I mean? They're just going to do an ultrasound. You know, they're going to do it again, you know? But yeah, so those are my two appointments. The hot doctor doing God knows what and the echocardiogram ultrasound of my chest again. Oh, I would think they'd be doing my chest. I mean, I don't know. Like, they just said you're getting an echocardiogram. That's all they said. I'm assuming they're going to do my chest again. Unless they're going to do my stomach or something. I mean, you can get... You can get an you can get an abdominal and uh, abdominal aneurysm. You can get that, but that's usually for smokers. So I don't think they're going to be doing my stomach. So I think they're just going to be doing my chest again. They scanned my chest like six months ago, and they want to do it again, which is kind of weird considering how you usually get an echocardiogram once a year, or not every few months. I don't know. Maybe they're just, again, concerned. I don't know. So, yeah. The echocardiogram was, again, that was a surprise. I didn't expect that. Again, this is going to be the second time this year. So, hopefully you guys understand everything I just said. And you can piece it together. Because I feel like this is too much information for everyone and everyone's so freaking confused uh, if you're new to my channel and you didn't watch all my other videos and hopefully my story makes sense i just yeah i don't know i'm gonna end this <laughs> so i think i might have found the possible disorder that I might have. Um, I only have a few minutes left on this battery, so I'm sorry if I talk quick. I just, I just want to get this out of the way. Um, I was doing some research, and I don't fit into I, I don't fit into Ehlers Danlos syndrome. I'm not that flexible. I have stretchy skin, but I'm not that flexible, so I probably don't have Ehlers Danlos syndrome. I was, so I was looking up, you know, morphinoid, you know, what, what can, what can cause that body, and I found something that could be possible, it's called homocystinuria, so this could be possibly me, and I could be wrong, but it, it affects chromosome 21, which is the same chromosome mutation. No, no, no. It's the same chromosome. I could be wrong, but it, but the mutation for homocystinuria is chromosome 21. And Down syndrome, the mutation for that is also chromosome 21. And I'm only bringing up Down Syndrome because I was supposed to have Down Syndrome, but I never had it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the it's, it's weird. It's like doctors were, like, before I was born or whatever, doctors was, the doctors were like, um, they were suspecting me of having Down Syndrome or something like that. I don't know. But obviously I don't have Down Syndrome. But I'm bringing this up because 
homocystinuria also affects chromosome 21 like you know what I mean so it's like maybe instead of me getting down syndrome I got homocystinuria which explains the morphinoid habitus you know what I mean so I hope that's not all confusing it, it would just make sen sense because it's like okay if I do have a chromosome 21 mutation it's obviously not down syndrome but it's something on the same it, it it's something on the same gene as that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it, it but it also makes sense because not only do, do I have just 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 to let just I'm sorry to cut myself off from talking, but just to let everyone out of the loop now. Um, I was genetically tested for Morfan syndrome, and that came back negative. So now. I have to go back to the geneticist, and as I'm recording this, it's the 25th of November, so I haven't gone back yet to the geneticist, I haven't gone back yet, but as I'm waiting to see him again, I'm thinking of possibilities of what else it could be that can give me the morphinoid body, and, and Homocystinuria might be it because I I have a deficiency in B12. I don't know I don't know about the L of vitamins because homocystinuria affects vitamin B12, B6, and then folate or something like that. Now I now I don't I don't I don't think I have a deficiency in folate in and B6, or what the heck? All I know is that I have a deficiency in vitamin B12 and vitamin D. That's all I know. I don't know if I have any other deficiencies. Or, like, if I do, I forget. Like, I forget this shit. Like, doctors could tell me all this stuff, and it's like I forget all this crap, like, not all the time, uh, it's just, I don't know, it's just, uh, like, it's hard to describe, it's like, I know I have GERD, G-E-R-D, I know that, they diagnosed me with that, but it's like, 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 I don't forget, like, I don't forget disorders, like, if a doctor diagnoses me with a disorder, that's not hard to forget, like, if a doctor says, you have a disorder, that's not hard to get. That's not hard to forget. You know what I mean? But if a doctor says I have a deficiency, that's hard. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not making sense right now. I'm, it's, it's, you know, the sun is going down. I got not that much battery life, so I'm not really making sense with my speech. But basically, it's like, when it comes to deficiencies and stuff, it, 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 I can't remember that stuff. Like, it's really hard for me to remember that stuff. All I can remember is I have a, a vitamin B12 and vitamin D deficiency. That's all I remember. That's all the doctor told me that I remember. I don't know if they tested... I don't think they... I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me, okay? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to fucking figure it out. I have medicine for my vitamin B12, and I have medicine for my vitamin D. But I don't know if anything else is... I don't know if anything else is defected or what the hell ever. I don't know. They didn't say any other vitamin... They didn't, they didn't say anything else. So I'm assuming they... They didn't test for it. Oh, I don't. I don't know how. I don't know how any of this shit works. Okay, I'm a high school dropout. I don't get this science crap. I don't get it. I. I just don't fucking get it. You know what I mean? I'm mentally ill. Oh, I don't know what the hell I am. And if you know that, then maybe I do have homocystinuria because I. I don't know if I have an IQ. I don't know what my IQ is. I don't know what it is. Um, it's not. It's not low. Or at least not as low as my ex-boyfriend. And I'm not saying that as a joke because my ex-boyfriend really did have a low IQ. And you could tell. Like, you could just tell if he had a low IQ. So, I'm not as bad as my ex-boyfriend. 
but I could still possibly have a low IQ, you know what I mean? I don't want people to think I'm fake and I'm a hypochondriac and I'm making all this up because I can't remember things. I literally, like, my, my memory is so bad that I could eat something for lunch and then I forget what it is the next day. Sometimes I forget within, within the day. I, no one believes me. There's, there's been a lot of times where even in the same day of me eating something specific, I forget what it is. You know what I mean? Hours after eating my dinner last night, hours after eating it, I was pondering in my bedroom in the dark, what the hell did I eat for dinner? It's not as common, like my memory issues are not as commonly bad as that. Like to forget what I ate on the same day that I ate that whatever, like it's really, it's not, it's usually not that bad, like usually my memory is bad like a day after I eat something and I'm trying to think of what it was and I forget, like that's more common if that makes sense, I don't know, it's just, my brain is a mess right now, my battery is running low, it's nighttime. And I just, I don't know. They might have homocystinuria. I'm not a hypochondriac. Everybody on my, you know, I'm gonna, ha I don't know how the whole, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, you people have seen my deformed chest. You people have seen the morphinoid habitus. The skinny body that I have. I have a deficiency in vitamin B12. Like, it's just, you know, I just, I don't know. Do I have homocystinuria? Probably. I don't know. I don't want to test for one thing, though. That's the thing. Like, when I go to the geneticist, hold on, let me just fuck. I don't want to test for one thing like I did last time. Because with the Morphan test, that was obviously me testing for one thing. But... This time coming up for my second meeting with the geneticist, I don't want to test for one thing again. I don't want to limit myself. I have 15 minutes left for the battery, so I gotta hurry this up. I derailed this video really badly, and I'm sorry. I don't want to test, basically, I don't want to test for one thing. I just want to get a karyotype and see if anything pops up. And if for some odd reason there's no karyotype mutation of any sorts, maybe I still do have homocystinuria, but it doesn't affect a karyotype gene. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Because homocystinuria affects CBS gene, I think. But I was theorizing, what if I don't have the gene mutation? What if I have... What if I... I don't think I acquired homocystinuria. I don't think I did because I've always been skinny. I don't know. And I don't know what my IQ is. I think I do have a low IQ. Not, again, not, 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 not as bad as my ex-boyfriend. And not severely mentally, intellectually disabled, obviously. I'm not severely. I might be mildly or, like, I don't feel smart. And I have long fingers, and I have a deformed chest, and I'm skinny, and I have, I, I, I lack vitamin B12 or whatever, and I don't know, I might have it. Like, do you guys think I have it, maybe? Because there's nothing else I can think of that gives you the morphinoid habitus that I fit in. I was thinking kyphosis, scoliosis, ehlers danlos syndrome, but I don't know. I don't have kyphosis though, I only have scoliosis, so I don't know. Homocystinuria seems, even though it doesn't fully fit me, like I don't have lens dislocation. I don't have that. There's other things that I don't have as well, like I don't have knee, I don't have knocked knees. Or like, oh no, it's like my knees. I, ha I, do, I do have weird looking knees, like my knees look weird, but they're not like bent, like you know what I mean, like, like it's weird, like I can't explain it, like, 
I have, I have, I have, I have knock knees in the sense that they're square, like I have square knees, but, but the photo I seen, it like, cur the leg curves in or something, and my leg doesn't curve in like that, like, my knees are square, but my legs don't curve in, or I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't have weird legs, or like, I have deer, I have, my, my legs look like a deer, because they're so skinny, but they're not, they're not that, I don't know what the hell that shit is, but I don't, I don't have that. So, so I don't have that. I don't have the, the, the weird legs or whatever. I don't have that. I don't know if I have intellectual disability. I don't know. I don't know. I, everyone keeps telling me that I'm smart. But I don't, but I don't see it. I don't think I'm smart. So either everyone's lying to me to make myself feel better. Or maybe they do think I'm smart. Maybe people... Because all my life people keep on calling me smart. Either they're just saying that to make my... They're just saying that to make me feel good. Or they really do say... They, they really do think I'm smart. I can't tell. Because I am kind of smart. But then I'm kind of dumb. Like I don't know that much about history and stuff. I'm getting derailed. I'm sorry. But go, go back to homocystinaria. Yeah, I might have homocystinaria maybe. And if I don't, then what else could it be? I'm gonna get a carrier type. Nothing pops up, then I'm gonna get a urine sample because it's detected in urine. I don't know. I have to eat a lot of salmon now and, and stuff like that because of the vitamin issues. So do you guys think it's homocystinaria? What else could it be? There's nothing else that I can think of that I that that it could be, you know what I mean? I gotta go home now because it's getting dark and it's cold. But it probably isn't homocystinaria because I do have stretchy skin. I have stretchy skin, so I don't think I have Ehlers Danlos syndrome because again, I can't, I I I can't bend my fingers that back. I can't bend my elbows that back. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just a, something. Maybe it's just something so totally new that no one's discovered before. I don't know. I'm sorry for derailing this video. It's just my battery is running low and it's nighttime and I, I'm so like isolated and mentally ill that I can't tell when the sun comes down because I barely get out of the house and I don't pay attention to the season anymore. Basically, I, I don't know. Maybe I do have homocystinaria. I can't drive. I'm not mentally able to drive. I'm not mentally able to walk. I have to live with my parents. Everyone keeps saying I have autism. The doctors. But real autistic people don't see it in me. And neurotypical people don't see autism in me. So... Maybe I don't have autism and I have a learning disability. But doctors are confusing it with autism or something. I don't know. Maybe my mental issues is just caused by a physical issue. I don't know. It's homocystinaria, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to end this. What do you guys think? Let me know. And I'll see you later. This is Gnostic Mind Train. I'll see you later. Yeah, I don't know if I want to keep talking about the mental illness thing because honestly, it's getting to the point to where if someone claims to have it or I hear about it in general, I get so triggered because supposedly I am just like them. Or oh, I have it, or whatever, and I don't relate to it, like... So, because some people will say, Maybe... You are bipolar. Like, maybe you are. Some people will say, maybe you're not schizotypal. Maybe you're just bipolar. Because bipolar people can also have weird... Uh, they can have, uh, you know, delusions, or whatever you want to call it. Because I don't really talk weird... That much. 
and I don't always dress weird, so people will be like, maybe you're just bipolar. I don't know, I don't think that's true either, because everybody that I've met that has bipolar, they say that it's really scary, and it's out of control, and with me, I don't have periods of any of that at all. The only thing that's scary to me is these weird freaking physical symptoms. And don't say s stuff like, maybe you're having physical symptoms because of your mental issues. See, I don't agree. People be like, well, doctors say your heart looks normal, your lungs look normal, and you're having issues with your heart and lungs, apparently. Even though by science you're not, so it has to be in your head. I don't agree. I don't agree. I think it's possible for your heart and your lungs can... Uh, like, your heart and your lungs can malfunction, like, temporarily. Maybe not permanently or as a disease. I think that's with me. It's like, uh, my heart and my lungs are... The dysfunctioning or the... the yeah, the, the, the malfunctioning temporarily. This car's pulling up, so I gotta put my phone down. But yeah, I think, I just think my body is temporarily malfunctioning and it's not actually a disease internal, at least not internally. Well, I did look at the echocardiogram results and it said trace regurgitation or tricuspid regurgitation or I don't know what it said, so... Maybe that explains the regular heartbeats, because I don't know what that is. What is tricuspid regurgitation, or trace regurgitation, or whatever? Because that's what the echocardiogram said, and maybe that's why I was having irregular heartbeats. I don't know. It's not... I, I'm cutting down on the sugar and the caffeine, so it's not that. It can't be that. I've been drinking pretty much water every day. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I feel one thing, but science says another thing. Then the critics say it's all in my head and I'm mentally ill. You know, whoever's watching, you know, if you're... Uh, who's that guy? Uh, who's that guy? I don't know what his name is. He did a video on the mysterious song... He did a video on, I can't say this out loud, but he did the video on a com the, the cum box. <laughs> Someone came in a box for a long period of time. He did a video on uh, the My Little Pony cum statue thing. I don't know, he just, he does these videos. He's, he's, he, he did the video on the mysterious song on the internet. He's the dude with the thumbnail where, like... He's always drinking in his thumbnail. The dude with the long hair and the mustache. If he wants to analyze me, or if Bay Shaman, if Bay Shaman wants to analyze my videos, like, I can't stop them, but, you know, someone needs, someone, some analyzing channel needs to analyze me. Analyze trying to figure out what the morphinoid medical mystery is. Try to, try, try to figure that out. Also try to figure out my mental issues. You know, am I really mentally ill? Try to figure that out also. Also try to figure out miscellaneous stuff. You know, uh, unspecified stuff. Try to figure out unspecified stuff. Like, why is Gnostic Mind Train having arguments with people all the time? Why can't Gnostic Mind Train, you know... learn how to drive a car because I can't, I just can't do it. I can't cook certain foods. I just, something in my brain won't let me remember. Like, it's easy to, I don't know. Most definitely, some, some, if an analyzing channel is watching this, most, mo, uh, most definitely analyze at least the morphinoid medical mystery because that is really interesting. So again, base shaman, whoever the hell's watching the the analyzing channel, the creepy pasta people, the the creepy mystery people, that that go over creepy mysteries or weird mysteries or Reddit stories or whatever. Like someone like and link me that shit if you're gonna do it on YouTube. 
link me that because someone needs to analyze me because like like this isn't fake obviously this isn't fake I mean you can't fake the chest you can't fake living with your parents so it's 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 a real thing that I it's all these all this stuff that I live with every day and I'm not getting help for it like I'm not oh like I'm not getting an answer for it and it's a big story that no one is analyzing and they need to analyze it. Kind of like with hiding in my room. People started analyzing hiding in my room. And again, I don't want this to get fame. I just want this so people could give me some, like, some uh, answers. Some possible theories as to why my life is like this. Why my body is like this. What, like, why is my body like this? Why is my brain like this? Am I really mentally ill? Or am I just different and an outcast? Because I feel like I'm just different and, and I'm just an outcast. There's a big difference. You know, why do I keep having arguments with people? You know? It, it, it would just be an interesting an, an analysis. Because I, I need to get analyzed. Therapists are not doing a good job. Uh, they're not doing a good job. So, I need the internet people. Anybody, any YouTuber that likes analyzing internet people like Chris Chan and all these people that analyze those people, analyze me. Because I need help. I need answers. I need to hear you guys' theories, your goals' theories, every gender in between theor uh, your, your, your human theories, okay? I just, I need something. I don't know what this video is going to be anymore. I guess this is the second video now. But yeah, someone please analyze me. Please. <laughs> so, yeah, this is Nastic Mind Train, and yeah, I, I think that's it. I'm only over here because some guy was walking his dog. But I had a dream that they were analyzing my chromosomes. Like all of them. And I could see kind of the code to it. But I couldn't like like the the autosomes, I couldn't make out what the autosomes were, probably because it's a dream. And I, <laughs> but but the but the sex chromosomes though, it was really weird because with the sex chromosomes, it was like uh, it said, it was blurry at first, and it said X X Y, and I was like really, but it but it but it got um. It got unblurry, you know, I got, I got clear, and when I was able to see clearly, it said XY. So maybe that's a sign, maybe that's a sign saying, hey, hey, you know, you keep thinking that you have Kleinfelter syndrome, well, hate to break it to you, but that might not be true. I think that's what the dream is telling me, because I really do think that's, I, I really do think uh, I really do think having Kleinfelter syndrome would explain my body, kind of. I mean, not the chest, but the body shape and the voice. But maybe it's a sign. Maybe that dream is a sign saying, hey, you know, your guess is probably, you know, wrong. Even though you have a weird voice and your body is weird. It's probably not it, my dude. You know, probably not it, my dude. <laughs> so, I mean, who knows? Maybe it will be XXY, or maybe it won't. But 
I think that's a dream saying, hey, just be prepared. You're going to probably get disappointed. You know, you're not, you, you, you're not, you don't, you are not some special biological sexed person. You're, you, you are, by fact, a biological male. I think that's what it's going to, I think that's what it's, uh, I think that's what the dream is telling me is, uh, don't trust your beliefs too much because it might be wrong. That's what happened with Marfan syndrome. I started believing in it, and then I was proven wrong. So I think with the Kleinfelter syndrome, that will be probably uh, that will probably be proven wrong. But if it is proven wrong, still curious on on uh, why I am the way that I am. So yeah, that was my uh, chromosome uh, my chromosome dream. Hopefully, I said it was a dream and not a gene. It was a dream. So I have speech issues. It was a it was a dream. I gotta I gotta rewatch this video to make sure I said dream and not gene. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I think it's also a sign saying that the people, like the scientists, the analyzing my genes. Yes, I mean genes this time. They're analyzing my genes right now. They're analyzing my DNA. So I think that's a second uh, meaning to it. So yeah, I'm gonna end this. My ba uh, my not my battery. My my gigabytes is going down. So yeah, this is uh, Nastic Mind Train. I'll see you all later. <sighs> that's funny. Basically, my whole entire life is basically me in a nutshell. When it comes to my life, is basically I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> It's January 2nd, 2020, I can't believe I'm fucking saying that, and I could, uh, my results for the genetic testing, it's probably going to come out on the 8th of January, I'm hoping a day before, I'm hoping the 7th of January, but most likely the 8th of January, 2020, I could possibly get my DNA answer and hopefully get an answer. I'm pretty excited about that. I hope it will explain my morphinoid habitus. I will make a video about it. I'll probably make the video maybe underneath my car park to make sure all the audio is okay. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll come out here. But I don't know. So, yeah. Where the fuck is the moon? There's the moon. I think. This is Gnostic Mine Train. And I'll see you all later. So again, uh, for now on, I'm just gonna, whenever I'm recording out here, I'm gonna record in pieces so I could watch back the recording and see if the audio is okay because of the winds or if I move my phone or whatever. But yeah, um, this is just gonna be a quick video saying that my genetic test results are in according to uh, the voicemail I got. So, 
Um, they didn't say what my results were on the phone. They didn't say it. But, um, they just said it's done. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm gonna have an appointment with the geneticist and we're gonna go over it. Now I really hope, now I hope that my microarray genetic testing results actually explains my body. Because again, it's gonna say unrelated stuff, you know, like risk of cancer and stuff like that. So, I just hope it gets down to the point and actually explains why, you know, my body's like this, you know what I mean? It's probably gonna say multiple things. It's, maybe I have multiple things... It's probably going to say that there's multiple things going on with my body, most likely. Like, it's going to explain why maybe I'm skinny. It's going to explain why maybe my voice sounds like this. It's, uh, it's going to explain why maybe my voice sounds like this. It's going to explain why maybe I lack body hair on my chest and my stomach. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I won't explain any of that, and I'll just get shit luck. But hopefully it will explain at least one of those things. Most, de uh, most definitely the skinniness. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm excited, but I'm also scared. I'm excited because, you know, yay, they're done. So, I'm excited that they're done, but I'm scared because what if there is no answer for this, ex uh, for this body that I have specifically? Or if there is an answer, I'm scared of what it could be. Like, you, you never know. Maybe it's something new. Maybe it's something that I don't know of. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna end this because I don't really have any... I don't really, I don't really have anything else to say. But, yeah. Ugh. Um, I'm just glad that it's over, you know? I don't know. It's not windy. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I'm gonna have to test the audio for this. I'm only gonna record for like two minutes probably just to see if the audio is okay. I don't want, I don't want the audio to get, like, sometimes the audio, the audio gets tapped. Like, there's a tapping noise, and it mutes the audio a little bit. I don't know why it does that, but I'm just gonna, whatever. So, if I have to redo this, I have to redo it. But basically, I'm just gonna say, maybe it's my OCD talking. But, like, seems like almost every time I try to guess what's wrong with me, I'm almost always wrong. Sometimes I'm right, but sometimes I'm wrong. It's just, I think what I want to, okay, so I, the, I have, I set up the appointment for the genetic testing for January the 30th in the morning. I think what I'm going to do is like, don't have a certain mindset. Because it's like, it seems like every time I try to predict what's wrong with me, I'm, all, I, again, I'm wrong. Like, when I thought, all this time I thought I had Marfan Syndrome, and it wasn't. I mean, again, sometimes I'm right. Like, the Raynaud Syndrome I predicted, and I was right. But it's like, I don't know, it's like... When that, when the appointment comes, where I see the geneticist, and he tells me my micro right results, don't think that it's something specific, because it might jinx it. It's true. I mean, you call me superstitious all you want, but it almost always seems to happen. So it's like, so so like being into sex and stuff. Try to keep that out of out of out of my mind. Try to keep that out of your mind. You know what I mean? Like it, it could be possible. I think it's called mosaic. I think it's like some like you could be mosaic. Like like some cells can be XX. Some cells can be XY. You could be X, X, Y, or something like that. I, 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 I didn't even know that. I, honestly, I thought, honestly, I thought it's X, 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 Y, and then X, X, Y. But I didn't know that some cells can be X, X, and some can be X, Y. I, I don't understand that stuff. I don't know. I just thought being X, X, Y would mean 
everything is X, X, Y, that's you. But I, I'm guessing there's some conditions that where it's not like that. I don't know. It, it, being into sex would explain my voice. Because my voice doesn't sound like a 24-year-old male. I sound like a, a an 18-year-old androgynous being. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. But, it, yeah, I think going... I just keep that out of my mind. Don't think that I'm into sex because I might jinx it. I'm not saying I do or don't want to be into sex. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like... And it's like... I'm, I've also been thinking that maybe it's homocystinuria that's causing the morphinoid habitus. Also keep that out uh, keep that out of my mind because I don't want to jinx that either. Basically just go into the appointment with the blank mind. Like don't cuz you don't want to get disappointed. Also go I got to go into that appointment uh not being too excited because there's a possibility that there's no explanation for the morphinoid habitus. There might be a possibility. So it's like don't go into the genesis like you don't know it all. And also, don't go in there thinking that the morphinoid habitus is going to be explained because it might not be. I mean, it, there's a chance that the genesis will go, okay, we don't know what's causing your morphinoid habitus, but we have other things like cancer risks and stuff. So basically, just go in with a blank mind, like, you know, whatever. That's what I gotta do. Just to avoid the jinxes. You can call me OCD, schizophrenic, all you want. But it's just what I think. I think superstition does exist to an extent. I don't care what you say. As a black cat. I don't know if you can see it. As, as coincidence as, as I'm talking about superstition. I actually should stay away as far as that black cat as I should. But yeah... Uh, I believe in superstition, so just, yeah, I think I'm just going to end this video because I don't really have anything else to say, but basically, yeah, I'm going to get my answer on January the 30th, hopefully I say January and not July or something stupid, but yeah, 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 January 30th, so basically in like two weeks, I don't know, I don't know. This is Nasty My Train, and I'll see you all later. There's nothing really else that I can talk about. What am I gonna what am I gonna name this video? I'm probably gonna name it Go to the Genesist with a blank mind or something, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, Nasty My Train, I'll see you all later. I'm uh... You know, it's fucking amazing how, um, it's amazing how, um, you're different, like, you have a different body, and, let me, let me sit down, let me sit down and do it. So funny how you have a different body, and you tell people about it, and a lot of people believe in you, a lot of people be like, wow, you know, your body is so different. But then there's the, there's the few, there's like the, there's a, there's a select few people that don't believe you for whatever reason, and they go, you think you have a condition because you have white hips. Like, you need to even see my chest. Like, oh my god. Like, because there are these... I'm not even going to say who it was or what the people were or whatever. But basically just saying, you know, I have a medical mystery. And I even linked my messed up looking chest. And it's like... I get hate. It's like, as, as I get, I get fucking hate. I don't know why. Like, there's actually, like, there's actually people out there that still don't think I have a disorder, and some guy was like, maybe it's just a different body type, even though, you know, your chest looks weird and you're underweight. Like, are you kidding me? Are you really that in denial that, okay, my regular doctor is on my side, and she even said herself that it's a medical mystery. The geneticist is also on my side. In fact, if he wasn't, he would have told me to get get out of the office. He would have said, I don't see anything wrong with you at all. He would have just kicked me out. But no, he's like, 
Yes, it does look like Mothman Syndrome, even though it's not. Yet you have these people online that don't get it, and they just and it's so crazy. It's like they make you look crazy. Like you know what I mean? Like it's like like all I do is just post. Like I, all I did was just post. I'm again. I'm not gonna get into specifics, but. I just posted about my medical mystery for like the hundredth time, but like on a new, like 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 I've been talking about the medical mystery for a while, but I posted it on a new side of the internet that hasn't been exposed to it yet, and I get all this hate from the people saying stuff like, you know, it's just all in your head, and you're just like the other hypochondriacs. It just pisses me off, and they make me look crazy, even though I'm not crazy. Like, seriously, why do people do that? Why do people make you look crazy, even though you're not crazy? Why do people hate on you for no reason? Can someone please explain to me the psychology behind it? Literally, I did nothing wrong. I was just saying, hey, you know, I have a thing. People hate on... People are uh, hating on me, and giving me dislikes, and just... And when I I got like my first hater on that post and I called him out and then people are defending the hater and it's like I get dislikes even more and it, it's just so fucking weird. Like can someone explain to me why that fucking stupid shit happens when you're in the right and people, I don't know, I think it's just, it's. I want to say it's trolls, I don't think it's trolls, I just think it's really fucking ignorant people. I don't fucking get it. I don't know why. And it's crazy because I, I'm i not even going to say the website or what the hell it is. Like, it's whatever. But I even saw posts similar to my posts and they got no hate. That's why sometimes I think I'm the Antichrist. I know that sounds kind of mentally ill. I do have mental illness. I have a schizotypal, you know, um, um, beliefs, you know. But sometimes I think, like... I'm the Antichrist because people hate me for no reason. Again, there's people. There were people that were do, doing similar posts, questioning the body, and they got no hate. Yet I got hate, and I, I, I again, I even linked a photo of my chest, and they're just saying it's all in my head. And it's like I gotta be really blunt with everyone, everyone watching and listening. If you think it's in my head. If you really think it's in my head, you're either you're either trolling, which lately, uh, as far as, as far as I as far as I've seen so far, I don't think these people are trolling. But you you will probably get trolls, or two, which is the mo which is the most common I've been seeing lately is just people that are fucking metaphor they're, they're metaphorically blind, and they're in denial. Or if not, the living in a delusion because it's like a lot of the people that I show, like when I show people my weird body, like like a lot of the people agree with me that there's something off. A lot of the people, they say like there was a guy that I used to talk to before I got rid of him. He said, "Yeah, there is something with your chest," and just the doctors are on my side and stuff like that. But again, I get. These little few people that, for some reason, they don't see it. They still want to lump me up as a hypochondriac. Okay, so a hundred pound person that has a weird chest and scoliosis with long limbs. Yeah, that's somehow hypochondria. Even though real hypochondria is... Real hypochondriac people, there's nothing wrong with them. The only thing wrong with hypochondriacs is that they have hypochondria. That's the only issue. Other than that, hypochondriacs most likely don't have what they say that they have. You know what I mean? Like, the only issue that they have is hypochondria. With me, it's literally not. Like, there actually is something there. Like, I just... Can someone help me out? Can someone help me out on why people are so fucking ignorant and judgmental? Please. Anybody else agree with me that I have a weird body? You have to agree. You have to fucking agree. I think people were getting pissed off mo uh, also because I said I have a weird voice. I do have a weird voice. Like, my voice isn't super deep, but it's 
not feminine, like, a lot of the adults, a lot of the adult males that do have feminine voices, like, like, a lot of the adult men that do have feminine high voices, it's like, they sound like an adult, and with me, I sound like a teenager still, I don't know. My, my phone, I can't, I, for some reason, I can't hold my phone up for some reason, for, my, for some reason, my left hand, it's, it's, it's been acting weird, it's just, I just, I can't, I can't hold, so I have to probably end this, because I don't want to be shaking the camera and stuff, because I just can't hold this anymore, but basically, I, I'm just, I'm just done with the rant, stop saying, I, stop saying that I'm a hypochondriac, I'm gonna get my genetic testing results on the 30th of January 2020, and it will definitely find something, you can't say that it's nothing, it has to be something, that's all I have to say. This is Gnostic Mind Train, and I'll see you all later. Please stop pissing me off, because, you know, I'm not like, you know... I don't care, like, I used to be off, I used to be off the edge. Like, I used to, like, I used to throw stuff and get mad and start yelling and stuff back in the day. I don't do that anymore, but the more you people hate on me, the more I feel like I want to... I don't know, like, I, I'm gonna go into Gmod and just... You piss me off. <laughs> just fucking stop, okay, please? I'm just gonna end this. This is not like my train. I'll see y'all later. Seven days until I get my answer. What could it be if it's not Alos Danlos syndrome or uh, homocystinuria? Uh, there was this other disorder called, and I'm probably gonna butcher its name, so I'm sorry. Uh, Lujan, 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 something syndrome. I don't know what it's called. I'm sorry. It's X Link Mental uh, Disability, uh, Intellectual Disability. I mean, I don't, to my knowledge, I don't have a low IQ. I mean, maybe I do, because every time I do an online IQ test, it always says something crazy like 60. So maybe I do have a low IQ. People be like, don't trust the online IQ tests. I know. I know. But real IQ tests are probably bullshit, too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't believe in IQ tests. I even made a video on YouTube on another account about that, but that's now deleted. You know, I, I don't know. And maybe having a low IQ would explain why I'm just so irrational and I'm so illogical. Maybe it's not schizo... It's obviously... Okay, so it's like, it's not... Maybe it's not schizotypal. Because the therapists, you know, the, all the mental health field, they label me schizotypal. But what if I'm not schizotypal? What if I'm not even schizophrenic? What if... What if it's... Be, what if it's like... I think illogically and magically. Uh, I'm sorry, I got distracted. Maybe I think illogically and magically because I have an intellectual disability, maybe. that That's not to say that all people... Like not like not all people with intellectual disability, not all of them have magical thinking, and not all people that have magical thinking have an intellectual disability. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying if I if I did have a mild intellectual disability, that would explain why I think this way and why I know mental like because sometimes mental health doctors don't even understand me. Or when they do, I don't agree with the uh, opinions or whatever. I don't know. It's just, I don't know, I'm pulling straws. So yeah, the, 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 the Lujan. Lujan. I think it's Lu, Lujan. Lujan syndrome. Or Lujan syndrome. Could it be me? Maybe. I have the morphinoid habitus. Uh, that syndrome has a lot of psychiatric associations and apparently I'm mentally ill and people keep talking about it and 
it's getting to the point to where it's like I don't even believe in my labels. I don't like I don't believe in some of them. You know what I mean? I think doctors are just labeling me with stuff because I'm different. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, seven days until I get the genetic testing. Hopefully I can survive until then. Uh, I think I'm going to end this. So yeah, this is now Sigma and Train. I'll see you all later. And yeah, seven days. Okay, testing, testing, testing. Sometimes the audio gets messed up, but I don't know why. Also, recently I dropped my phone, so hopefully... I mean, it looks okay, and I did a test video. I don't know. Okay, okay, three, two, one. So, the... I don't know if I should make a video uh, here, or if I should make it... At the skate park. I think I think I'm just gonna make it here because the winds. I don't want the winds to bother me. So the micro, uh, the micro array genetic testing results came in, and there was there was something, there was something with one of my chromosomes, but it doesn't really explain why I'm like this, and I'm still having issues understanding it myself, but. It's not really the answer that I'm looking for. I'm probably gonna go to the. I'm probably gonna go to the school. So I don't think it's windy. Hopefully you can hear me. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Ran to the skate park. Okay. So yeah, I don't get it myself what it is, but it doesn't seem to, to my knowledge, explain the morphinoid habitus and. The micro, I can't believe the micro array didn't find anything, no extra. I mean, I, only that one thing, and I don't know. It's just, they said it was so small, I don't know. I I have a photo, you can read it yourself. There is a typo, though. I think the geneticist said there was a typo or something on there. So if it doesn't make any sense, that's why, but I don't know. I read it, and it kind of, I, I don't know. This is my last result. I requested two more tests. I know, everybody looking at me like I'm crazy, but I I requested for two more tests. The homocystinemia, because I have vitamin issues and I have morphinoid habitus. And the second requested test is the Lujan syndrome. He didn't even know what it was. He had to look it up. See, that's the thing. You know, you, you think these... I, I love the geneticist. He's a nice guy, and I don't want to hate on him, and I don't, I'm not. But it's so funny how these people be like, the scientist is always right. Scientists and geneticists know everything. No, they don't. They're not God. The geneticist didn't even know what Lujan uh, syndrome... What, he, didn't even, he, had, he, didn't, he didn't know it even existed. So I had to tell him to look it up as a possibility as to why I'm like this. So, yeah, you know, sometimes you could be so rare, and then, you know, it's whatever, you know? So, yeah, these are my last tests, and I swear to God, if they come back negative, I'm going, I have a video saved, and I don't know how well it's going to do online. It might get me, uh, I don't know, it might cause uh, an issue in my life. But I have a video saved. It's calling out the scientific community. Hopef uh, it's calling out the scientific community. And I'm going to get backlash. Also, I'm sorry if my left hand is shaking. Hopefully it's not. I'm sorry if it is. Hopefully it's not messing up with the audio. But I'm going to hold my hand like this. So yeah, I, I swear to God, you science cultists, I have a video saved calling out science and saying that, you know, these people that say facts over feelings, I'm sick of that. Because now, you can label me schizophrenic all you want, 
But I'm living in delusion. I'm not even schizophrenic. That's the thing. The haters want to call me schizophrenic because I'm delusional, apparently, and I want to believe in fantasy instead of reality, even though I'm schizotypal, which isn't even the same thing. I don't hear voices. I have weird beliefs, and I'm getting there delusionally. Like, I'm almost getting to the delusional side, but not yet. But I will, if I have to. Because I'm so sick of these facts over feelings, people. I it's it's not even a feeling. It's an actual, like, like what I'm feeling isn't even like it's an actual like thing. I don't know. I gotta see if the audio for this is okay and the visuals. I dropped the phone when I uh, I dropped my phone recently, so I don't know if this is. I mean, I don't know if this is good. Again, I'm given. This is my last test. Okay, this is the last one. It's it, it's technically two. It's ugh, it's hard to describe. It's like I'm doing two tests at once. So this is my last test for two things. You know what I mean? Like, does that make any sense? It's hard to describe. It's like when I say this is my last test. Again, I'm not testing for one thing. I'm testing for two things at the same time. That makes any sense? I don't know. This is just my last test. In general, this this is it, okay? And then after this, I'm gonna have to contact National Organization of uh, I don't know what it's called, National Organization for Rare Diseases. They live in the East Coast, so I live in the East Coast, so might as well go see them or Chasing the Cure if you're interested. Uh, I didn't contact Wang because he's kind of big YouTuber, but maybe I should. But I don't know, maybe I should try to contact Wang. I don't know, maybe I should contact another YouTuber. He says, I need help. I'm, I don't want people to label me as... I don't want people... Why do you have to drive something like that? Why? I don't want people labeling me Eugenia Cooney 2.0. The male version or something. I don't want that, okay? If you think it's an eating problem, you obviously haven't seen my deformed chest. Obviously, I have a morphinoid condition. It's just, it doesn't have a, it, there's no name for it. It's like Marfan syndrome, but it's not. There's no name for it. And a lot of people like to invalidate me, people like me, and say, well, since there's no name, it doesn't exist, or it's invalid. Like, just because something has no name just because it's unexplained it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist uh, also it doesn't mean that it's invalid it's just a mystery like mysteries are valid okay but no these normal people these you know um it's become i don't know people are just like People are just like, I worship science like it's God. It's not God, okay? You don't know God. I don't even know God. But science isn't God. It's not. I'm not even a fan of God. I, I have issues with God, but I don't know. I'm not an atheist. I don't want to get into that. I have un I'm schizo I'm schizotypal. I have unconventional beliefs. I don't know if there's a god, but I believe in ghosts. I'm an agnostic spiritualist. I don't know. That's another topic for another day. Basically, science isn't god. Stop worshiping it. Science has become a cult. You're gonna hate me. You're gonna send me your little hate messages and replies. Whatever. I don't care. Science has helped people, but not me. Not people like me. But again, you want to invalidate me and say... You have no name, so therefore you don't exist. Or like, you have no name, so therefore you're invalid. Can you please accept... Unspe they do this with mental disorders, too. If you don't have a diagnosis for something, or if you're listed as not otherwise specified... These little... These haters want to go... Oh, you don't have a diagnosis for PTSD? Oh, you're probably faking it. Like, no. Okay, it takes a while to get the right fucking doctor to convince them. Because I've been through trauma 
and for some reason doctors don't see it as an issue. Or you have a personality disorder, and doctors, they take a while, they, you know, they, they don't see it, or I don't know, like, they could get borderline personality disorder mixed up with bipolar, or bipolar mixed up with borderline. Like, doctors are not gods either, they make mistakes, they miss the signs. You have to have symptoms for a certain period of time in order to get a diagnosis. And I told some fucking commentator that, and he didn't get it. He's like, what, like it's a ticking time bomb to get a diagnosis? Yes, it is. I, I, don't quote me on this, but schizophrenic diagnosis, I believe you need six months of symptoms. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what it is in the DSM. So yes, you need certain... You can't just have a... You just can't be moody for one day and be like, Oh, I'm bipolar. No, it's not like that. You have to have the symptoms for a certain period of time. But these freaking commentators or haters online or just ignorant people in general don't freaking get it. I gotta keep my voice down because I don't want... You know, I gotta, I gotta keep my voice down. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, just, I'm just so mad. I don't, <laughs> I don't want the cops to come, you know... It's, it's, I mean, it's empty. It's an empty park. I don't know, I just don't want, I, I, today is not, today is not the day to go to jail. Today is not the day to go to jail. So I'm gonna keep my voice down. I'm gonna stay over here just to be safe. No one's out here on this, no one's out here, but, you know. I'm just pissed. You know, you're supposed to trust in science. It's supposed to be, be it's supposed to, you know, it's supposed to be... Science is supposed to be like God. People keep saying this. People keep saying science, they treat it as if it's the, you know, you know. People worship science like it's the true religion. It's not the true religion, okay? Science is not the true religion. Science is starting to sound like a cult a little bit. There's a difference between religion and occult people. And it feels more like a cult. At least with religion, even though I don't follow re- even though I don't follow religion, at least with religion, there's some hope in it, you know. There's meaning in it. But this science shit has no meaning. What are words if words mean nothing? This has no meaning, by the way. I don't know. I don't know where my life is going to go for, from here. I'm just going to stop looking up disorders and talking about it. Anybody that talks about their disorders, I'm just going to not pay attention. If I see something about mental disorders online, I'm just going to click off. Or if someone talks about it in real life, I'm just going to walk away. Same thing with physical disorders. I don't want to hear it, see it. I don't want to experience it anymore. I don't want to look it up. You know. Someone talks about the physical disorder. I don't want to hear it, see it. I'm going to click off. I'm going to walk away. I just, I don't want to deal with it anymore. No more songs. I mean, any song that I have planned in the making that has to do with a medical, with a medical, mental, or physical disorder... I'll finish making the song, but after that, I'm just going to scratch off any other ideas I have to name songs after medical disorders, because number one, not only, not only do I not want to hear it anymore, but I don't, I don't, I also, I don't want people to think I'm a hypochondriac, because I get messages sometimes, no public replies, but messages saying, there's these fucking people that cannot see my deformity they still call me a hypochondriac even though I have something wrong with me physically they still think it's in my head somehow these are the these are the minority though these are the minority of people that 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 doubt that doubt that I have issues the majority of people the majority can see a lot of people, even the geneticist agrees, I have something wrong with me. You know, my general doctor thinks that she agrees, like, majority of people can see it. 
And I don't know. I just, I'm just, I don't know. I'm yelling. I'm just, I'm sick. Okay? I get it. I'm sick of this. I get it. I'm done. I'm tired. I, uh, you know, I had it all. I, I seen it all. I experienced it all. And where did I get? I got nowhere. I don't know where to go from here. I think I'm just going to end this. Wait until the two tests come back. Supposed to see the geneticist again in April. I don't know. I'm going to end this. This is a Gnostic mind train and no one wants to help me. No, you know, no one's going to help me. No scientist is interested chasing the cure. No internet person is interested. But I don't know. I just, no one cares. They care about Chris Chan. I don't know why. They care about Chris Chan. I mean, Chris Chan hasn't done anything interesting in years. So why are you even talking about Chris Chan? Chris Chan hasn't done anything lulzy in a while. Just leave them alone. Chris, leave Chris Chan alone. Marina Joyce, that was all just a hyped up nothing, you know. Eugenia Cooney, she got help. She got help. Even though our issues are different, even though she has an eating disorder that makes her skinny, and I have an unknown thing that makes... Like, even though she has an eating disorder that makes her skinny, and I have an unknown condition, genetic condition... What some type of disease that makes me skinny? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's maybe it is a morphinoid. I don't know what it is. You know, I I don't know what it is. Something that makes me skinny, and no one no one cares. No no one's hyping up me. No one's talking about me. And again, I don't want this for attention. Just so just for attention. I want attention so I could use that to push it. So, hopefully a TV show program or the scientific community can say, hey, we need to study this guy so we could help. Because I don't want anybody to go through what... Anybody that has my body habitus, anybody that has my unknown condition, I don't want them to end up like me and slip through the cracks. I, I, I want to help myself. But if, if this is an unknown subtype of a condition, or if it's an unknown condition itself, not only do I want to help me, but I want to help other people. Because this might be rare. And I don't want other people to go their whole lives walking around and then, oh, they die. We need to research this. This is not like mind train. Heading back home. It's cold. I'll see you all later. If anybody cares, I don't know.